Okay, you have just seen a scene of Daniel Radcliffe in The Woman in Black, a ghost story that's very haunting. And, lucky for us, we have Daniel Radcliffe with us to haunt us. Thank Are you, you going to haunt me here today? I'll you? try. In any way I can. But you're haunted. See, you don't get to haunt in that movie. That's no, I don't. I'm, I am the haunted, unfortunately, in yeah. this one. Yeah, but it does mean I, I get to run around a lot and, you know, be scared. Oh, you are in that movie place every the house. second. Yeah, I... It's, <laughs> it's, it was not like you had a couple of days off. Uh, no, I, I certainly didn't. Yeah, there's, there's, there's a lot of me in this film. I should probably <laughs> warn people. I mean, there is, there is that entire section. Warn them. Yeah. yeah. They, should, they should know that going in. Um, but I did... Um, you know, when I re read the script first, I one of the things I loved about it was that there is this section in the middle which was which read as about 15 pages of stage direction um, with not a word of dialogue. And I remember just thinking, God, you know, if uh, if I do this film and this section doesn't work, there's really only going to be one person to blame. But it, it actually, I think, is one of the, is a is a really good sequence in the film, and I'm. Um, you know, thrilled with it particularly. James's whole idea is that, especially coming from the world that I come from, which is of Potter and uh, one of the things... Were you, you in that? I know those little art house films that I did. Yes, it's just, oh my God. Uh, um, but they, uh, you know, one of the things that you, as wonderful as they are, you are saddled with, I didn't have as much as Emma, but still quite a lot of expositional dialogue where we're all exchanged, we're telling each other information that we already know mm -hmm. to remind the audience. and. You know, there's none of that in this film. This film, we don't really have the the, the burden of exposition. There is certainly not on me, which is um, well. That was why I'm going to put it on. Thing. You know, because <laughs> this is the first major film you're choosing mm -hmm. after Harry Potter. Yeah, you're saying I want to do Woman in Black. Why? Yes. What was it about this that attracted you? Um, it was mainly the story. The story is. So compelling. I wasn't aware of it. I'd never seen the play. Um, I read the book, obviously, as soon as I after I read the script. Um, but the story is so compelling and so gripping and so genuinely frightening that I was reading the script, going, "God, it'll. I, it seems like it would be a huge amount of fun to be a part of this story that's really going to scare people." Like that was a very appealing um, notion to me somehow. But no way, Dan, is it any kind of torture porn? No, this is not, not hostile. No, this, this is, is not. not. This, this is, is really a ghost story. It's a ghost story. It's it's much more it has much more of a classic feel. It's uh, it, it is very suspenseful, it's about tension and, uh, and what you don't see and, and, and anticipation, you know, that's the anticipation of a scare. Everyone knows there's going to be a moment that makes you jump, but, yeah, it's, you go but, like yeah, but it's not knowing when it's going to happen. James times them brilliantly so that they often come just the moment after you think they were going to, so you, you have a moment of relief of thinking, okay, maybe it's fine and then he'll get you. What you haven't really done is explain who this character of Arthur Kipps is. is. Arthur is somebody who has lost his wife. He's a 24, 25 year old young uh, lawyer and um, he is uh, also a father. He's lost his wife and that sent him into a, a, a spiral of depression and, and detachment and it, it, has, it has devastated him and his life so profoundly that he cannot you know, look at his son without seeing his wife and seeing the love he had for her not be there anymore and is, is not able to be a participant in his own life. He is completely drained from the first moment you see him. Um, and then he is given this job to, to go and collect the paperwork of a recently deceased woman and sort of organise it in this small house in rural England. And he goes there and uh, is immediately sort of set upon by the ghost of this very angry, bitter, vengeful woman. And, pardon me, if there is, uh, you know, one, the theme I think that is most strong in this film is about, it's about what happens to us if we can't move on from a loss. Um, Arthur is somebody who has been devastated by the loss of his wife and has become detached and all those things. The, the, the woman in black has been consumed by her hatred and, and unable, un, unable, unwillingness to forgive and has been um, tortured by it. Um, so they're sort of the two furthest apart, they're, you know, the two opposite ends of the spectrum of how you can react mm -hmm. to a loss. Well, you've moved on from a loss. There's no more Harry Potter. Yes, I know.
Now, you did have a whole year's run in How to Succeed in yes. Business. That was really trying, which would be a nice break from that. It was fantastic. But yeah. I guess you get asked it all the time when you say goodbye to Harry, but I've never asked you, you basically what the last moment you shot as Harry Potter was. Um, I was, we were filming, you know, it was one of those classic things. I, I promised myself it wouldn't end on green screen, but it did. <laughs> Did. Um, and you know, did. and you want to, as you know, not not with a bang, but with a whimper, as the saying goes. It, you know, I wanted it to be some fantastic, wonderful, uh, elegiac shot of us all, you know, finishing off, and then. Uh, but no, it was us <laughs> jumping in. It wasn't even from the last film. It was from part one, the last shot we did, um, and it was me jumping into the fireplace at the Ministry of Magic as we're escaping. Um, and you know, we filmed it, and then we all broke down and just started crying. How do you make your peace, though, with living with it? Because it will always be there. You know, yeah. people will be generations will come on and still see it. Yes, I hope so. Mm -hmm. You know, that's the thing. Like we made these movies so that they're seen by people, and mm -hmm. if they're still being seen by people in forty, fifty years, then mm -hmm. it means we did a really good job. Um, so yeah, I, I uh, I'm very at peace with that. Like I, 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 I love the fact that. I'm associated with this series, and I had, I had such a good time doing it. You know, I really did, and you know, I wouldn't be a where I am today without it. I wouldn't be the person I am without it, without having met the people I met through those films. And one of the reasons that I can, because it is, it was such a special place, and the reason I can walk away happy is knowing that because I know that I gave everything every day I was there, and. Um, that's that's what allows me to walk away is that I, I know that I gave absolutely everything I had every day and you didn't I, just walk away you jumped into the fireplace yeah exactly <laughs> you know, I, jumped, I kind jumped, of like that jumping idea. into the fire yeah <laughs> like, I suppose there's that's no actually, more of this I like I, I, I like yeah, yeah I hadn't thought of it like that I, the symbolism was lost on me but there we go